what's the point <laughs> anyway hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is naninga kue if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back and if you never knew that I existed up until now, thank you for clicking on this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure that you like this video if you feel that you liked it. So today we are going to do a makeup tutorial, but this makeup tutorial is purely for fun. Please don't follow it. I kindly request unless maybe you're in the next 20 years because fashion does go and fashion does come back. So does makeup. Makeup styles go and makeup styles come back. So... Because of all that is going on in the world, let's go back to the simple times. In the early 2000s, everything was fun, free, and fair. You could go out wherever you wanted, you could go out at night, you could go out during the day, you could eat in a restaurant, you could do whatever you want, you could walk without a mask, and you could breathe the fresh air. So why not do a makeup look from the early 2000s? Lucky for you, I actually did put on makeup in the early 2000s, around 2003-2004, I was putting on makeup and I'm going to do my makeup exactly the way I did it in the early 2000s. Get prepared guys, it's going to be funny and it's going to be a ball. So definitely we have to get rid of this makeup, like definitely this is not makeup for the early 2000s and also, come on guys. Our eyebrows have grown so thick, I don't think they can grow any thicker. They are definitely going to start shrinking back, 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 all the way to the early 2000s. Ask me in the next 20 years. 2000s makeup will be rock. So basically guys, we've removed my eye makeup and my lip makeup. I'm not going to remove all the makeup. What's the point? <laughs> anyway, so the first thing we're going to do is remove these eyebrows. These thick ass eyebrows. So we are just going to take our concealer and conceal those thick eyebrows because honestly, in the early 2000s, an artificially enhanced eyebrows were not in, but purely artificial eyebrows were very, very in. So we are just going to remove them. Now as our concealer dries, we are going to put on our eyeshadow because in the early 2000s, of course, we always used to start with our powder, <laughs> our compact powders, the very red ones. However, because we have concealer on, we are going to wait for it to dry and then we are going to do the eyeshadow now and make sure that your eyeshadow is frosty or icy or looking like it has some white particles inside. That is the perfect eyeshadow for you in the early 2000s. And you make sure you only apply on your eyelid. You don't go until your brow bone. No eyeshadow on the brow bone. Strictly. Only on the eyelid. As you can see, we have an eye pencil, the famous grey eye pencils of the early 2000s. Now, this eye pencil was not an eye pencil per se. It was an eye, lip, and any other makeup pencil. <laughs> it served several purposes, and as you can see here, I'm just going to line my lips with it. So you are to apply a thick black line on it, and no lipsticks in the early 2000s. You take your lip gloss... And you apply it on top of that lip on or on top of that lip liner that you've just used, and you make sure that your lips are extremely shiny, extremely, extremely shiny. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, now this is my favorite part because this is what exactly distinguishes between the early 2000s and 2020. My friends, you have to use compact powder. You have to use compact powder and you have to use it in the wrong shade. If you're the wrong shade, my friends, that's the that was the trick to having the perfect makeup in the early 2000s. We didn't really know about shades at that time and we really, really used the wrong shades of compact powder. Some of us used darker shades, others used lighter shades. And I'm telling you, you had to look like you're wearing a mask in order for people to know that you're putting on makeup. You had to look like you're wearing a mask. So here I am applying with our trusted powder puff. I think it was called a powder puff. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, with our trusted powder puff, you make sure you apply it everywhere until the neck. And you have to make sure that it's it's like a mask. When you hug somebody, it has to remain on their shirt. When you sleep, it has to remain on your beddings. If you've not washed your face, that is. The next step was to take our trusted multi-use pencil and create those eyebrows. I used to draw them very very sharp. I never used to draw them like with an arc. I used to draw them like a triangle, like the angle of a triangle. And you make sure that they are sharp and thin. And if you have brows or hair, you shave them or you either line them up up to the line or you shave them to be very very thin until they they fit that thin line they have to fit into that thin line if you have any brows Finally, over here, I'm just removing my necklace and I'm going to put a, a choker. Chokers were common in the late 90s and very early 2000s, like up to around 2002. And they were not really velvet chokers like the one I'm going to put on. They were plastic chokers. But because I can't find any plastic chokers right now, I'm going to use a velvet choker that I have. And I'm just going to randomly put it on so that I can remember how we used to feel. about this makeup look comment down below especially if you're below 25 years of age would you try such a thing <laughs> would you try such a thing we actually did used to walk around looking like this ask anybody who put on makeup in between 2000 and 2005 and even 1998 99 people actually did used to put on makeup like this and yeah thank you so much guys for watching I hope you had a good laugh. This was just for fun video. Don't take it too seriously because we are in times we are just staying at home uh, and our mental uh, our mental health is really getting affected. So I thought I'd make you people laugh a bit. And yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. By the way, people also used to like, like a lighter shade of, uh, what is it called, powder. So some people were going darker, some were going lighter and looking ridiculous either way we all looked ridiculous so uh it was it was a fun time it was a fun time make sure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this i post content every monday wednesday and saturday very early in the morning thank you so much bye be blessed be blessed and be blessed again